everyone, and we're back. This is Miss Crow Tangy here, so let's play Resident Evil Code Veronica X. We have an Elvenoid to take care of. You know, you don't actually have to fight this guy, and I don't plan on it. Because if you play your cards right, you can jump into the pool, because you see him electrocuting it. Yeah, you can jump into the pool. Wait. Okay, now I just have to into my inventory! Inventory! Whew. Use this. Turn around. Yes! See? You don't even have to fight him. Just in and out. Sometimes you need two healing items. Usually you only need one. I use two just in case. Okay. We're out of here! See, now is the time that I should go get the shotgun. Did you see this? Remember that Clement mixture document? Mind this with that. Boom, we've got the key to the hangar. Which means we can end this section of the game anytime we want, so long as we don't get eaten by spiders. But I'm not leaving here without the shotgun, because I am not stupid. <laughs> Leaving without the shotgun would be a terrible, 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 terrible idea. Am I poisoned? No. Good. How many slots do I need? I think I just need the one. So we're gonna go. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't leave anything else of note. Except for the shotgun. Oh wait, no, I still have... I do have some extra things I still want to get because the reason I didn't grab it before was because I'm pretty sure there's stuff through the water there. So... Um, we're gonna be right back, because I'm going to go run to the atom box to make a little drop-off. See you in just a minute, guys. So guys, I just realized that the extra bit that I was thinking of there was two red herbs. So, and there happened to have been a ladder that went right to where I needed to go! What? I didn't even have to cut out that out at all. Well, balls. And here is my little bit of proof. See? Oh yeah, and there's a zombie up there. He wakes up when you get into the water. But yeah, you climb up the ladder, and... It looks like it's right where I need to go, so... We're gonna go that way. Because, duh. Oh man, that means I didn't have to do anything at all! In terms of editing. Now I'm going to have to edit out a significant portion of it. Oh, well. So let's get ready. We've got two red herbs. Too bad I can't just combine them like that. Oh well. Um, let's... Actually, let's put away the shotgun for now. In favor of... The AK. And I've got a reason for this. Kind of. Actually, let's put this one away too. Just for a little bit, because we're going to be coming to a uh, save point fairly early on in the next section. Do, do, do. Spoilers. I hear spoilers. I hear them. I hear them spiders. Them spoilers. Them silly spoilers. Now loading! Hi, Chris! Are you aware there's spiders behind you? You should probably hurry. Well, that's not good. Oh! Well, that's good! I Hold guess on, it's... Claire. I'll save you. Sure you will. I guess it's good that uh, Alfred conveniently had two jets, and that somehow Chris knows how to pilot them! Since when was Chris in the Air Force? Actually, he might have been. I can't remember what his backstory for that was. And Jill apparently being in the Green Braze. How does he know how to fly a Harrier jet? How? Grabbing his D.
Does, how does... How, where is Rockford Island supposed to be? How does he have enough fuel to get from Rockford Island to, uh... Nice 2D graphics there. Getting from Rockford Island all the way to the Antarctic. I can almost understand the cargo plane having it up, because it probably doesn't take as much fuel, and probably has fuel reserves on board. But... I don't see a Harrier jet having that. Then again, at the same time, then how did Alfred get to Antarctica? I mean, there's stuff like refueling the jet and... Never mind. Let's just go. We have a Claire to save! And a Steve to s s save. Yeah. Sure. Let's call it that. <laughs> Hi. See, that's why I said get the assault rifle. Because these things will not let you pass unless you murder them many, many times. See? They will do that. Hey, look, it's the plane. Go away, please. Thank you. Step, 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 step. And now we are going to go and stop by the safe point and get properly equipped for the Antarctica section of the game. Step. Step. Also, I'm not going to the left, it's a trap. You see that there's no moths? And you know how amazing that is? Yeah, if I go left, you're gonna get a bunch of zombies and I th think maybe moths? I can't remember. But we're not going left! I love going left, but we're not going left. <laughs> I don't like left in this game. It's scary. Itchy nose. Itchy nose. <laughs> Not itchy nose anymore. How do I still- Oh. I was gonna ask, how do I still have this? But then I remember there's this right here. <coughs> What's this give me? Yay? <laughs> I got a paper wait. I think I know what that's for. There's a file. Alfred's di again. <clears throat> January 30th. There's a sealed room in the hallway located inside of the Antarctic facility. I don't know what's hidden there, but I do know how to get in. I can use the three jewels that each one of our three family members wore as proof of being a legitimate descendant of the Ashford family. The only problem is, I do not know how I can gain possession of my father's proof. February 17th, I finally succeeded in entering that sealed room. I could ne never could have imagined that such an insane secret existed regarding the birth of both Alexia and myself. I hate my father, that fool Alexander. Oh, now it is obvious that we are merely creating an attempt to cover my father's blunder. I can never trust him again. I must regain the glory of the Ashford family with my sister. I have nothing to be afraid of, as long as Alexia is with me. March 3rd. Alexia carried out the experiment on the human body that we've been talking about. Our useless father must be happy now, since he can finally contribute to the Ashford family. The only thing we should be careful about is the butler, Harmon, does not become wise to activities. April 22nd. The experiment resulted in failure. Our father was useless after all. Even worse, he turned into a dangerous monster that is completely out of control. We tied him down and locked him up in an underground prison cell, even though we were only children of about 11 years old. However, Alexia seems to be close to a solution. Beyond all my expectations, she now says that she wishes to conduct the experiment on her own body. On top of that, she feels she must be kept asleep for 15 years in order to accomplish the experiment. Thanks to that idiot, I can't see my dear Alexia for lo as long as 15 years. Alexia is going to sleep with all of her trust relying upon me. Now, I am the only one who can protect Alexia. <laughs> Y'all like my Alfred voice? Good, because I hate doing it. Yay, Ingribbins! 
How many of those do I have? <laughs> A lot. No! Give me the gun! I'm trying to combine- There we go, 23. What am I gonna take with me? Let's take these. And... Put this away for... Nah. Uh, nah. Yes, let's put it away for now. Just eat a case. You know what? Let's put away the handgun as well. This might be a terrible, terrible idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, hey, look. It's Claire's handgun. Shotgun time! I like blowing things up! With my shotty gun! Shot 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 gun shot 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 gun! This entire place is mostly frozen over! You think it would have been more like that... before? Apparently not! Do 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 So this entire place is frozen over. What's through door number this? Anything? Anything at all? No. I doubt there's anything in that room. Wait, what? Oh, this is not going to end. No! Oh, God darn it! Okay. Fine. <laughs> Take the crank. Yep. Chris, keep going. You heard a zombie. Keep going. You know what to do in this situation. No, he's not going to be the brightest tool in the shed. You've done this before, Chris! You hear the moaning. You run. You do not stand. You're an idiot. You shnikes! Jog off. Gone. Well, good thing I'm never gonna have to go back in that room again! I hope. What do I got on me? Bub kiss. Great. Step 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 open. Remember, this room had a zombie in it. I think there's a zombie in it now. Hi, zombie. Hi, zombie! Ow! Ow! Get off of me! Okay, how bad is it? Not bad enough. Come here. Get off of me! Screw it. That was a terrible waste of ammo. Come here. Well, at least he's dead now. That went terribly. Bye. Come here. No, seriously. I need to talk to you. Fred Mr. Frederick Zombie, I need to speak with you. Thank you. Boom! That's how I take care of zombies. Oh great, a dear lumen case that I can't open because I don't have a lock pick. Ooh, shotgun shells. Well, I guess that kind of makes up for my clusterfuck. Is there anything else in here? No! Of course not. What's behind? There's a giant spider under the ice! There's a giant spider under the ice! What? Oh no! What? Yeah. Yes! Keep moving! Chris. 
No, he just doesn't move. Balls. Okay, come here. I know you're coming. Oh, four shotgun rounds to take him out. Ooh, let's not do that again. Because I still haven't found a proper save point. <laughs> Yeah, I know I need to go in there, but I'm not gonna go in there yet. Cause I've got other shit to do. Oh, and also, I have gone over time for this particular video. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am here playing some Resident Evil Code Veronica X. See y'all in the next video.